a very good day to all my students welcome back to social science class in last two classes we have studied about the earth our living planet in which we discussed size of the planet shape of the planet latitudes important latitudes and longitude and in today's class we shall discuss about longitude and time children have you ever wondered that who developed the unit of time how did we decide how long the seconds to be or the minutes or an hour or even a day if we look into the sky and the rotation of earth gives us some answer for this the geographers divided the earth or the globe in 360 segments they are called as meridians or longitudes the earth completes its rotation of 360 degree in 24 hours dear children the sun regularly rises and sets every day and naturally and the sun is the best timekeeper throughout the world the sun shadow is shortest as noon and longest at sunrise and sunset when the prime meridian of greenwich has a sun at the highest point in the sky all the places along this meridian will have midday or noon as the earth rotates from west to east those places east of greenwich will be ahead of greenwich time and those to the west will be behind it the earth rotates in 360 degree the earth rotates 360 degree in about 24 hours which means 15 degree an hour or 1 degree in 4 minutes yes now let's see in detail longitude and time the earth is rotating on its axis and completes its one rotation in 24 hours this means 360 degree longitudes are covered in a period of 24 hours if we divide 360 divide 360 degree by 24 we get 15 degree that means earth rotates 15 degree each hour 1 hour equals to 60 minutes 60 minutes divided by 15 degree we get 4 minutes which means the earth rotates 1 degree in 4 minutes now let's learn about ega and wls what do you mean by ega and wls ega means east gain add whereas wls means west lose subtract There is one hour time difference for every fifteen degree of longitude. EGA means east gain add in case of places to the east of GMT, that is Greenwich Meridian time. The time difference is to be added. Whereas with WLS, that is west lose subtract in case of places to the west difference is to be subtracted. you can see in this video when it is 12 noon at greenwich the time at 15 degree east of greenwich will be 15 into 4 equals to 60 minutes that is 1 hour ahead of greenwich time which means 1 pm whereas at 15 degree west of greenwich the time will be behind greenwich time by 1 hour it will be 11 am now do you all understood about ega and wls now let's move on to the local time the local time according to the longitude of a place or according to the position of sun at that place is known as local time this is based on the local meridian passing over that place When the sun is shining vertically over the longitude, it is twelve noon at that place. 
all places situated on the same meridian have the same local time every longitude has its own local time now do you all understood what is local time now let's move on to standard time standard meridian and indian standard time in india 82 and half degree east longitude is considered as the standard meridian of the country it passes through allahabad of uttar pradesh that this time based on the meridian is called indian standard time or ist it is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of gmt that is greenwich meridian time children do you know why do we have standard time let's see now the local time of places which are on different meridians are bound to differ for example it will be difficult to prepare timetable for train which cross several longitudes in india for instance there will be difference of about 1 hour and 45 minutes in the local times of dwaraka in gujarat and dibrugarh in assam this is evident if it is 12 noon in dwaraka then at the same time in assam it would be 1:45 pm hence therefore necessary to adopt the local time of some central meridian of a country as the standard time and this standard time applicable to throughout the country in india the longitude of 82 and half degree east or 82 degree 30 minutes east is treated as the standard meridian the local time at this meridian is taken as a standard time for the whole country it is known as the indian standard time or ist now let us find the time difference between india and greenwich india located east of greenwich at 82 degree 30 minutes east that is 5 has 30 minute ahead of gmt that is greenwich meridian time so it will be 7:30 pm in india when it is 2 pm in greenwich some countries have a great longitudinal extent and so they have adopted more than one standard time it's evident in russia in russia there are as many as 11 standard times Now let's move on to time zones on the earth. The earth has been divided into 24 time zones of one or each. Each zone thus covers 15 degree of longitude. If you see carefully this map, you can see the different time zones of the earth. the time zones of different countries are in russia there are 11 time zones in usa and canada which have five time zones and in australia there are three time zones now let's move on to international dateline international dateline is another name for the 180 degree meridian the international dateline is an imaginary line lying on the 180 degree longitude on the opposite side of prime meridian this line separates one calendar day from another international date line is a zigzag line or which deviates from straight line in order to avoid pausing in a land The 180 degree longitude is called as a international date line because the date and day is changed whenever the people cross this line by ships or 
aeroplanes. Now, let's see in this slide. In the western hemisphere, one day is behind the eastern hemisphere, that is Sunday. Whereas, in the eastern hemisphere, it is one day ahead of western hemisphere, that is Monday. Now, did you all understand about international decline? Yes. In today's class, we have learned about longitude and time, local time, standard time, time zones and international dateline. Hope you are all you you all would have understood the concept and children keep on reading properly and read through the textbook. See the video again and again. Do the homework promptly and submit it on correct time. Thank you children. We'll see you in the next class.